Right, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Um, welcome to the RNI's newest lifeboat station in the country as of today. Uh, my name's Nigel Jones. I'm the Divisional Operations Manager for Wales South and Seven. This is one of my 21 stations that I manage. And uh, this day to day really marks the first day of operations for an RNLI lifeboat from this venue. Um, but it also marks the end of one journey, and that is the transition of uh, the Portishead Bristol lifeboat under the Portishead Lifeboat Trust uh, into the hands of the RNLI. And uh, our charity is very proud to be able to take on uh, the Portishead lifeboat uh, because it, it offers us the opportunity to, um, to, to assist the station with our uh, uh, large amount of support and backing and resources uh, to help save more lives at sea. And it's through the efforts of the Portishead Lifeboat and their trust that this has been such a great journey because they've made such a good preparation for us to do so. And uh, they have in themselves have done fantastic work here locally in Portishead. Uh, it's been several years in the making, uh, lots of meetings and deliberations and uh, training. The crew from the Portishead lifeboat being able to pull many of them on different courses from boat handling, uh, capsize training, casualty care and first aid medical training and command of the lifeboat training and, uh, and have brought that back and so their skill levels have been uh, it, uh, suitably enhanced so they can operate the lifeboat here and save more people. There are so many names I could mention uh, that have put massive amounts of effort over the previous years and also the previous two weeks where my, me and my training team have been here to, uh, to develop the operations from here, which has been a new venue to all of us. So we've had to keep you know, that finite step ahead of the team here and try to uh, instill best practice and our expertise and what we know from other places operating boats here to this venue. And it's uh, probably most, one of the most challenging that I've come across with the huge amount of tidal ranges and the terrain that you have here on the beach. So it's been a really difficult couple of weeks. The crew here have been fantastic. There's been some individuals that have put in massive amounts of their own time and commitment. Um, I've got a pair of those individuals here with me today. Mike Roberts, the chairman of the management group, and uh, Bob Crane, who is the lifeboat operations manager. And first of all, I'd like to uh, present Mike with a certificate that certifies the adoption formally, and, uh, and then I know Mike's got a couple of words to say as well. Um, on behalf of the Portishead Lifeboat Trust and on behalf of the community here um, and on behalf of all the many volunteers that make this operation possible, um, a very big thank you. A big thank you to you and the RNLI and to all of your colleagues, particularly who've been here <laughs> over the last two weeks. Um, the commitment and the dedication of time has been fantastic uh, and we have really appreciated it these last two weeks. Everybody's learnt so much about the operation here and, uh, and what we're taking on. Um, it's a wonderful new building that we've got here as well, which the RNLI designed and uh, invested in along with money from some donors and from the local community as well. We've had lots of people walking across here over the last couple of weeks stopping and saying what a lovely building it is and how it enhances this little corner here of, of Portishead. Um, and, I, and I think that's absolutely right. So we're delighted to, to be here 
to be in this building and uh, now to be part of the RNLI um, delivering a service here. Thank you. Thanks, Mike. It now gives me great pleasure to invite Mr. Bob Crane, who is the very first lifeboat operations <laughs> manager of uh, Portishead Lifeboat, to raise the RNLI flag for the very first time. Pleasure and an honour.